So there was an article in the Wall Street Journal this morning that business lobbyists are pushing to derail $800 billion of new taxes that are going to come as a result of uh, Biden's spending bill. Can I say something to those business lobbyists? I hope the word business stands for you are about the business of lobbying. I hope that's what it stands for. I hope it doesn't stand for businesses, as if you are representing businesses. Because if there is a business that is a part of this lobbyist group that didn't see this freight train coming down the road and managed to give hundreds of millions of dollars to make sure their man, Joe Biden, got elected because it was the woke thing to do. That's why they did it. And now they have the nerve to whine, complain, and try to derail an $800 billion tax bill that they were instrumental in making sure it happened, and now they want to derail it? Really? Really? But that's what they're doing. That's what they want to do. We can't let this happen. This is going to break us, do you think? Let's give him a lot of money for his election. Let's load up the DNC with money. And surely they're not going to help us. And we won't give a nickel to the Trump campaign four years ago. And he's the only one that did anything for him. And didn't get any of their support. But he helped them more than any other president has helped them between deregulation and lower taxes alone. Forget all the manufacturing and the trade deals, but just through those two things alone is the greatest help they've ever had. And they didn't even like the guy. They didn't even fund him. They didn't want anything to do with him. And they couldn't wait to get rid of him. Now they're paying the price. Now they want to derail it. No, the time was to, was not, I mean, if you wanted to derail, then you shouldn't have funded it. You funded the agenda. Now you want to derail the agenda that you funded. And they call themselves, I hope not, like I said, I hope business lobbyists means they're about the business of lobbying. Because they surely they can't be business people, right? And now we are spending billions and billions and billions of dollars combating climate change. Companies like General Motors, Cummings, um, Carriers, uh, global, uh, Carrier Global Corporation, uh, Silicon Valley companies like Amazon and Google, Alphabet, um, um, Facebook, all supporting these climate change bills. I wonder if they'll be the businesses in four years trying to derail the climate change bills. And they call themselves businessmen. They think this is not going to hurt them. Do you, do you see the, the, the craziness about it? You got guys like the CEO of Levi Strauss, who is now an outspoken leader for more legislation, things like paid leave and other things, because he says, well, these policies will improve people. They will improve what people are able to do. Will they improve your bottom line too? Do you think? Chip, the Berg, the, the chief executive of Levi's, you think that's going to prove your bottom line? Is that what you think? No, 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 wait. You don't care about your bottom line. 
You got all the money you need. You don't care about your bottom line. That's just some sort of distorted obligation that you have to your board members and your stockholders. That's not important. I'm bored. Chip says, I'm bored with making jeans. This idea of making Levi's, it's boring. I've been doing it a long time. I don't want to do it anymore. I'd rather be involved in the culture war. Let's do something that's going to impact the culture in a negative way, but it's okay. We're impacting the woke population, and that's all we care about. And guess what? If we do it, we'll never get canceled because we don't want to be canceled. But this is typical. It's just one person. I'm talking about one person. It's crazy. So businesses can make a difference. How about businesses make a difference in hiring, building, growing, expanding, exporting, importing, hiring people, give them better wages, make a better life for them because of what you're doing for the economy, Mr. Businessman. How about that? You can support these things, but to make it a priority of your business, it's insane. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from nine to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.